Yeah, so this isn't my typical update video on Stitch, but I need a little window. It's hot in here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a, a couple little updates on what's going on with my car because I haven't done one of these in a little bit. And yeah, I mean, I know this video won't do near as good as my last one, but whatever. Because you guys seem to care more about when I talk about other shit than my car, but that's fine. I mean, I love my car and some of you do like my car, but you know what I mean. I, my potentially more controversial videos, even though they're not controversial, but people like to think they are, that tend to do a little better view wise so but it doesn't matter anyways um yeah so i did get some progress done on the uh, parts car yesterday i cut out the entire exhaust um from where the deleted cat would have been back so that's cool um and going to see if i can find like a die grinder with a wire wheel to uh get that all uh fixed up because unfortunately it's just I don't know when I'm going to get my grinder, and I just got to get a friend to come up here and basically give it to me. So, until then, you know, I'll figure something out that way. I mean, I can use a sander for some spots on it, but I can't use a sander for everything. It'd be better with a wire wheel. Um, but yeah, so clean up the entire exhaust that way. Then I want to actually get some header paint that's white and paint it. And paint the entire exhaust white, which even though yeah, there's a bunch of black accents on the outside, I actually think that that um, that the white will accent very well, especially under the hood, with the uh, blue. And then it'll just kind of go through the entire thing. And also the header I'm getting is white, so it'll match too. And then the air cleaner box on top, I want to do that in white as well. And it'll just look quite good under the hood. Um, that way and the exhaust will look pretty although it'll get dirty pretty quick but uh, whatever <laughs> you know just one of those things I just have to keep on top of cleaning it more often and that's not the end of the world um but yeah I mean that I, I had to cut it into three pieces that exhaust but that's okay because I got the main sort of front section got the muffler and and part of the bend and then the tailpipe so you know on that that old it took a while but i got it out eventually just you know using the saws all and not perfect cuts but i'll clean up the the areas where i cut and then if i need to which i probably will uh weld in some newer metal in those spots to uh, get the length back and you know just stuff like that it'll be fun um yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing here in the next few weeks. Um, I get paid June 1st. Um, so, yeah, might just do it then. We'll see. Um, but then also, June 2nd, I am taking my car into the shop because there's a few things really wrong with it. And it's very, very annoying right now. Um, because when I got my door unbent over at... Um, well, it was actually a friend of mine, Roger, up in Innisfail, he unbent my door for free. But when fixing that, it screwed up my window track. And I mean, I'll show you what I mean here. Because I can, All right, so that's a bummer. Um, it then also when i was trying to swap out the latches from the parts car to this well i didn't really get very far in that um because it turns out the the latch on the driver's door i don't know how to get the damn thing out so yeah it's going in for that and i forgot to tell them but i'll tell them on tuesday that the the, the lock mechanism thing is a little scurry too but they'll probably figure that out as soon as they uh dig into this um, so yeah, I'm dropping it off there. It's actually Krama Coach Works here in Sundry, and they do amazing work. I've seen their stuff. You know, I'm not too worried about bringing my car in there. And doing that on, you know, like I said, next Tuesday. Um, and yeah. So that's what I've got kind of planned for Stitch. And... You know, as well as uh, a friend of mine bought me an orbital sander for my birthday. 
She just needs to come up and deliver it, which she'll probably do that within the next couple of weeks or so. I'm sure it'll be before my birthday, which is uh, on June 18th. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I will probably be actually in Kelowna for a few days from about the 19th to about the 21st, um, which is about an eight-hour drive, but it's my grandma's 90th birthday, so, you know, I kind of got to do something for her, right? And it's, you know, we'll do the social distancing thing, but we'll we'll make sure that she has a great day because, I mean, it's her 90th birthday, you know? It's, it's kind of a big one. So, yeah. Um, well, beyond that, you know, and, like, it's something that was kind of annoying with that is talking to my dad on when we might want to leave for that because bear in mind my birthday is june 18th her birthday is june 20th i kept saying to him well look i i still want to have my birthday here i have friends here you know i can just invite them over we can have a barbecue it'll be fun um but no it, it, it's sounding like potentially the travel day will be my birthday which i really don't want to go on an eight hour drive on my birthday like and see nobody so, yeah. Like, I know I can get a few friends over that live in town here and, you know, they follow the social distancing thing whenever it's not. Like, another one thing is, when you live in a small town like I do, it's not the end of the world with um, this COVID thing. As much, anyways. You still keep your distance, but we are very isolated out here. You know, uh, this is a town with about 2,700 people. And... Yeah, so it's not as bad. We do have that luxury here. You know, if we were living in a bigger city, different story. I would not be inviting people over for my birthday. All right. So, yeah, we'll see what exactly happens. Um... And, you know, the, the, this year has just been really screwy because, you know, I guess this is going to be a little more of a personal uh, video for me. But that's okay. You know, I did give you guys a bit of an update on Stitch, but then as well, there's been other stuff going on. Like, I'm not going to lie with my situation and everything that, um, well, actually right now I should be recovering from a surgery and seeing if I can find work within the next few months. But COVID screwed that up. So I'm just waiting on, you know, this whole thing to end. And then the surgeries be put back in place again. And, you know, it probably won't be for another about a year. So, yeah, and it's just, I've mentioned it before. I have, um... A hormone deficiency that my body just doesn't uh, put out the correct hormones so you know I I do take medication for it and the surgery hopefully will fix that um, but yeah and it's just a bit of a shitty situation with that but that's okay you know i've been able to distract myself clearly you know i've been working on my car a bunch i've been making videos for you guys and everything else and which and i do enjoy making these videos as well like and i just i do want to give a big shout out to you guys that have been uh supporting me here because like honestly this has kind of been one of my um my vices for just getting through all of this and like and as well something else i had to do just due to toxicity and it was just like ridiculous is that i had to cut off contact with my brother now me and my brother we haven't we're not we weren't like extremely close but it's not the point you know i don't i officially don't talk to anybody on my mother's side which is you know rough in itself at times but you know you get through it and yeah so uh, sorry emotions that way do kick in when i talk about it at times but yeah and just because um my brother davy he decided to and this was uh back in march 
decided to uh, call out one of my best friends on their car and you know making fun of it and whatever else and it's like you know what there is no excuse for doing shit like that you know if you're gonna be like that you can fuck right off and that's how I feel and so yeah and I finally decided you know enough is enough I'm tired tired of your childish things I called him out on it and he just deleted me and then you know started spewing shit in my messenger and so I had to block him and that was a really hard day but you know, it is what it is, and you just gotta roll with the punches and move on. Um, so yeah, I've been dealing with that as well over the past while. And it's just like, yeah. You know, and especially, and I found it funny though, that he was always making fun of other people's cars. When... His truck has been on blocks for three years. Like, it, it really has. And, you know, and I was giving him ideas on the truck and the fact that, he, he, yeah, he is a car guy, but he doesn't really know a lot about cars. And, and you know, that, that's fine, but don't call out other people's knowledge when you don't know, right? And that's, that's an issue that we have within the car hobby. And I've talked about that before. You know, you can look at, my most popular video on that as well which is uh what's wrong in the car hobby and i mean that has almost 600 views now or maybe it has over 600 views uh, i haven't checked it today but regardless you know it does get a couple of views every now and then but that was about two months ago that i did that and that that video just um kind of took off my channel it was like the first video that i properly did <sighs> Fuck, i hate that fucking window on the track there that's eh, that bothers me um but yeah anyway so yeah if you want to check out that video because i go more in depth about that and it's like a 20 minute video or something like that you know and i mean most of my videos are around that length anyways but and yeah and you know and if you uh if you like what i'm doing here on the channel and i know this is a different video for me but it's just you know, I wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on with the car, but then as well as a little bit of, um, a little bit into my own personal life, right? And, you know, just so that it seems more personable between us. And, you know, because you got to do something every once in a while for that, right? And, um, cause I, I do deal with mental issues and whatever else, but, you know... I gave him pretty hidden to be honest because it's not it's not something that affects me every day but there are times when the whole world kind of just seems like it's crashing down and you know if you have that going on in your life and if you need somebody to talk to just shoot me a message and or even leave a comment and we'll figure out a way to contact each other you know as well as like because this is youtube and it's a bit difficult to message each other on there because i don't even know how that works i think you can only do that through the computer i don't know if you can do that on the app but um my instagram and i'll leave it in the description is at kitkat girl and if anybody has anything going on feel free to uh reach out or even if you just want to talk about your project car or whatever else and you know just have fun that way that's cool too um, and if you guys have that project, you know, as always, you know, leave it down in the comments, um, what you're working on and yeah, so I will end this here and I hope you're staying safe during COVID-19 and as always, if you have that project car, go wrench on it and I will see you in the next video and yeah, so anyways, <laughs> got a little just happy there um anyways i will talk to you guys later and yeah hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>